Good morning, everyone. On uh, behalf of uh, Nuclear Medicine Department, Kuwait Cancer Control Center, I welcome all of you. And we are very glad to welcome you for the Nuclear Medicine Week from uh, 7th to 13th of October 2012. Today the uh, lectures are about the nuclear medicine basic things like what is nuclear medicine, nuclear medicine workflow and structure, radiation protection in nuclear medicine, the role of the staff, nu uh, staff nurse in nuclear medicine department. Uh, the first lecture will be uh, what is nuclear medicine in English by the nuclear medicine specialist Mr. Mohammad Al Ibrahim from Chest Hospital Nuclear Medicine Department. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. Today I'm going to talk about the nuclear medicine. So uh, we'll give you a brief uh, description about this uh, specialty. First of all, it is a new specialty. Um, it is mainly to diagnose and treat the, the patients using uh, radioactive materials um, in a safe and painless way. So why is it called nuclear medicine? First of all, if you look at the image, you can see at, uh, in the top, this is the atom. And these are the orbits or the outer shells of the atom. These are the uh, electrons and this is the nucleus. We are interested in the nucleus. So this is the core of the atom. We have in the nucleus, we have the neutrons and the protons. And they emit the, uh, the gamma rays. These gamma rays are very important in our imaging because uh, we have the devices that uh, uh, receive the, uh, the gamma rays for the imaging. And the difference between us, bet uh, between us and the diagnostic uh, department, for example, the X-ray, the, the, the conventional X-ray and the, uh, the CT, they use the, uh, the outer shell uh, radiation, which is located see uh, the electrons, I mean, and we are only in the, uh, the core, the nucleus. So why it's uh, called Edison? So because we uh, able the radio, uh, the radio tracer with the medicine that is, uh, that it, uh, it has the, um, the materials that it will go to the organ for us to um, Examine. If you can see, this is the image. So we have the radioactive material in the syringe, and this is the vial. Usually, it, uh, it has the uh, the radioact. Uh, I mean, the uh, we, we call the the call kits. Okay, is inside the vial, and then we add the saline with the activity. And then we inject the saline ins inside the uh, this uh, vial, and then we incubate it for a few minutes before we withdraw for the patient. Now I'm going to give a history of the uh, nuclear medicine around the world, and these are the main uh, uh, dates. First of all, Henry Pickerel is a, a scientist and he discovered the radiation from the uranium itself in 1896. Um, in 1938, the most used radio uh, tracer in our department, known as the Technesium 99M, discovered. And in 2004 was the first time they launched the Nuclear Medicine Week but not in Kuwait, but in, uh, in the world. In Kuwait was in 2010, the, the first time. Okay, in Kuwait, uh, the, the first uh, nuclear medicine department was in, uh, introduced in Al Sabah uh, uh, Hospital in the 60s. And then in the 79, became a standalone department, which is known as the KCC. And then the launch of the nuclear medicine technology program 
for the uh, the allied health uh, students it is a bachelor's uh, degree in the late 80 in the late 80s uh, the launch of the board of nuclear medicine which is for the physicians now where where we can find the nuclear medicine departments in ministry of health um, you can see in the Amiri Hospital, Chest Diseases Hospital, Faisal bin Isa Center, Harwaniya Hospital, Jahra Hospital, Mubarak Al Kabir Hospital, and Organ Transplant Center. So, in the private sector, we have in Adan uh, Hospital, also a department there, and in the uh, military hospital, which is uh, for the uh, which is known as the Jabal Ahmed uh, Armed Forces Hospital. This is the main uh, device used in our departments, known as the gamma camera, because I explained earlier that we image. Ba uh, our imaging is based on the gamma rays, so the name came from this uh, phenomenon. The the most uh, common device used is the jewel head. You can see this is the jewel head gamma camera. It can come in several shapes and forms: uh, triple head. Or this one known as the C cam, it's a dedicated cardiac uh, camera. The benefit of this camera is that the patient, if he if he's having like a, a, a lumbar injury or he's uh, way too obese that he cannot be uh, seated or seated, we can use this uh, machine because it's not a supine position, but it's in a, a 45 degrees angle. The new technology in our departments, we use the PET scanners. So I'll zoom in. This is a PET scanner. We can have this modality uh, merging a, a CT or an MRI with the PET scanner. So it's, uh, the name will be PET CT or PET MRI. This will help us in diagnosing uh, deeper because uh, the CT and MRI there. Um, uh, specialized in uh, anatomical uh, uh, imaging, but, uh, but for us, for example, the PET, uh, the standalone, it's for functionality of, uh, of the organs. Okay, this is the uptake prop. It's not a visual uh, device, it's a statistical device. It's only uh, to, uh, to check for the uptake of the, uh, of the thyroid gland. Uh, how much uptake uh, from the iodine. And you, you can see here, this is the spectrum and the, the statistical data. There's no image here, of course. This is an example of uh, a few of our scans. For example, this is a bone scan. This is not an adult uh, patient. So you can see uh, there's a lot of uh, uptake in the joints. This is a normal phenomena because uh, still the patient is growing. This is uh, a myocardial perfusion scan, which is, in other words, uh, it's an imaging for the heart. You can see uh, the visual data and also the statistical data for the patient. Um, other, uh, other example, we have the thyroid scan. You can see the chin of the patient. This is the neck, and this is the thyroid gland. The purpose of the uh, of this uh, scan is to see the size and shape of the uh, gland, and also if there's any uh, goiters or abnormalities. The last one. This is a renal scan. You can see. Uh, it, it has uh, both the, the statistical uh, data and the visual uh, data. This is a typical fusion uh, image. We have uh, a CT image, a PET image, and then we fuse them together or superimpose them, in other words, to have this the, uh, on the right side. This is the final uh, product. This helps us to see the location of the uh, gland or the tumor, for example, and then we see the function. So both of them correlate. So many people ask this question, 
um, if there's any hazards or uh, problems uh, from uh, undergoing uh, nuclear medicine studies, <coughs> but there are no uh, um, evidence of any hazards from doing them. So the Nuclear Medicine Week is launched in 2004, as I said earlier. It's an annual event happening worldwide, same date and same concept. What is the goal of the Nuclear uh, Medicine Week? Is to enhance the awareness of the, uh, of the public and the other medical staff of our service and the designation, and to spread the word and motivate people to join and undergo the Nuclear, the nuclear Medicine Studies if necessary. Any questions? Okay, I'll go to the other lecture. <coughs>